let's roll the camera. I have just gotten back from my Urban Challenge shadow camp and I just thought it would be the perfect time to come have a little bit of a debrief with you all because so much has happened in the past three days and I wanted to give you like the full download on the YouTube. Honestly, it's probably gonna be a really long shell TED talk. That's not gonna make a lot of sense. And you know what, I don't blame you. If you're not into that, I will put a timestamp of where you should skip to if you don't wanna see or hear it all. But I have just had the best three days. I had high expectations and I was worried that they wouldn't be met and they were genuinely surpassed. First and foremost, the people have just been amazing. Genuinely the best, the fellow guides, the Urban Challenge team, the teachers we had, the girls we had, they were all like so great. And I kept saying like, I'm, feel like this is lulling me into this false sense of security because like not every school is going to be like this and I might I think I've gotten really lucky with the school and the camp that I had for my shadow shift oh! and I'm honestly like torn obviously got the Royal Caribbean interview next week but this is something that I kind of just want to go for right now as well and so I've got both these options I I really want to be an urban challenge guide too. Let me tell you what we got up to. It's just so go, go, go that you don't really have time to like stop. So I took a few photos. Hopefully it will jog my memory. But as we saw, it started off in the art canopy at Darling Harbour, which I have been informed is often referred to as the Cosmic Turd River. If you have been there, you will understand. It's a great great way to describe it where you they basically set up they do like a briefing for the camp and get ready then when the girls arrive you basically go over to the buses to like welcome them and have a bit of a chat and talk about um split them into their teams and so they all come dressed in like a certain theme for each team which is super fun but also so handy for keeping an eye on like where your teams are so we had tradies we could spot them from a mile away and we had another team that was gangsters it was so funny they like had like tattoos sleeves or they'd actually put on fake tattoos on their arms they had like these gold chains blue all had blue bandanas they called themselves the ice blood sisterhood and they were like elite and we did clue chase in the city which is basically they get certain clues that lead them from Darling Harbour to the rocks and Circular Quay. It's basically like amazing race style and it's super cool. Like there's so many thing, ways that they like interact with the actual city too. Like for instance, they go to this shop called Sticky that does like the rock candy and they have to sing a song to the people that work there to get their next clue. And like, it was just so cool. And like places that I genuinely had never been before. And I was like, this is so cool that this is my life and I'm literally getting paid to do this right now. Then we make our way over to Cockatoo Island for the end of the day and I get my own freaking waterfront tent on Cockatoo Island. They All teams have a teacher with them that is the sole person responsible for them. We're almost just facilitating the program, which is so great. We're like the fun people and then the teachers can be like the police that are like, no, don't do this, don't do that. But day two, we went to Bondi and they get given like little tasks. And one, some of our girls met the Norris Nuts, which a uh, family vlog channel, but they were like super fans. And they're like, oh my gosh, maybe we meet them. Maybe we meet them. And then our team of gangsters did meet them. Everyone was so jealous and it was so funny. Last night we stayed um, at a hostel in China or Chinatown Central. Great also great also all meals included like i got a little kitty that i could spend for my meals also amazing i just oh, oh. whoever thought this up is an absolute genius so last night the challenge for our team was to find a restaurant in chinatown to eat at as a group and so we go with one of them so we literally just rock up they've chosen the restaurant they've made the booking they also have to order it all themselves and stuff and so i'm like just order whatever you want. So get to enjoy like a great meal without having, just rocking up, which is great. Chatting with the girls, which was so much fun. And then night ferry into Circular Quay. And then today they did this um, cooking for the homeless. That was actually like a good change of pace too for the girls. And like, I think something's so important. Like they show them this video on homelessness and 
it hit me hard. Like I was getting like teary and being like, shit, like sometimes you do just need to remember how lucky you are. And then what did we do? And then we had a picnic in the city. Honestly, the best day ever. And like the end, at the end after like, you send off for camp, you like pack up everything and then a debrief at the pub. Like they buy you drinks and everyone just like has a beer and debriefs about the camp and feedback and all of that, which is the way they treat their staff is better than I could have ever imagined. Like I've never seen a company treat their staff this well and their staff are all such like great people. Like genuinely every single person that I met was just so like fun, exciting, but also like on the ball got shit done. I wanted to be them and I want to work with those people and the teachers we had were so lovely so fun. One of them was literally 24. He was this their food tech teacher and he was like so fun. He was so switched on. I've never seen a guy like that switched on before and I was like this exists. Like I was low-key obsessed with him. Um, so yeah so much success. I do need a shout because we are going to the driving range because I'm just like go 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 but I just wanted to like capture this right now because genuinely on the bus ride home i was like i just can't believe i found a career like on land that i love like i was catching the bus home after a long day of work being like i've had the best week ever i wasn't one of those other commuters that have just finished their nine to five being like oh finally it's the weekend it's like I'm genuinely sad that the camp is over and I wish like we had a few more days. I feel like when I got off the cruise at the start of the year, like damn, like I need to do that again. Thanks for listening. and welcome back to another vlog on the channel we're still going um out of content so we're filming new stuff today is the 18th of september oh my gosh how are we over halfway through september anyway today it is a wednesday and i am going into the city for my training for urban challenge so if you haven't been keeping up with my life <laughs> I was trialing a new job at a company called urban challenge which holds school camps for like year 9 and 10 kids in the Sydney CBD so I did that two weeks ago and I absolutely loved it I had the best time ever I couldn't believe it was a job I like loved it loved it loved it and I was offered a position there um after that camp which was super exciting and so today i'm going in for my like official training which is in the office in the rocks which i think i showed you last time when i went in for the interview <clears throat> it's the same place as that and i've got my first official camp next week wednesday to friday which i'm so excited for i'll be my own guide i'll have my own team to look after so i'll report back on what like the training is today but if we're going to the city that means a few things. Firstly, Sydney has recently opened their new metro system, which is supposed to be really cool. So I'm hoping if I have time after, I can go ride the metro and like get off at every stop. And maybe I'll show you a bit about that because that's exciting to me. And why not go to the gym? I've been struggling to like get into the habit of going to the gym because either I've worked, I've just like worked an eight hour shift at the gym. So the last thing I want to do is stay and work out myself at the gym or I don't want to like go and see people that I know when I work out I don't know it's a whole thing but if it's in the city and I don't know anyone and it's a time when it's not going to be too busy I've packed my stuff so I'm ready to like pop into the gym there if I can guys the pull-up bar is staring me down and because I haven't been going to the gym it's really difficult so we might do a chin-up today um yeah let's go I need to get back into that and just working out in general so bad but look what a nice day it is it's meant to be 25 today as well lovely 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 
as a reward after I got my offer for Urban Challenge, I wanted some new like nice shoes for walking around the city because when I go on a camp, I we do so many steps because we're just like non-stop walking all day, every day. And so I wore my New Balances that I took to Europe, but they're low-key trashed because I like wore them all over Europe. And I wear them for like Woolies as well as the gym where we do a lot of cleaning so they get like super grimy. So I wanted a nice new pair of shoes. So I'm testing them out today. I'm gonna try and break them in in the city. And I love them. <laughs> wow. So they're new balances. So they're still the fresh foam sort of vibe. We got the tunes here. So the training for Urban Challenge was great. We ended up doing about three hours and basically just going through basic like code of conduct stuff, child safety stuff, and then looking at the program that I am running next week, literally down to every single detail, what I'll be doing each day, what they'll be getting, like just running through it like crazy, which has been really handy. And it's also helpful that I've sort of, my shadow shift was a very similar camp as well. So I am very excited to get started on that. I've got to do a bit of prep because there's a lot of like briefing and stuff to know beforehand, but I'm really excited. <coughs> also, they gave me money for lunch, even though it was just like a training day in the city. Like this job treats their workers so well that I'm left baffled. The Metro is so cool. I think other than the ferry, I think it's my second favorite um, form of public transport in Sydney. It reminded me a lot of like the U-Bahn system and S-Bahn system in Munich. It sort of gives tube energy, but once again, the tube's like old <laughs> and this is brand spanking new. And the entrances when you're going down just feel so grand and cool. And some of the tunnels, like the one at Town Hall called Gadigal was so cool. I just, um, but my other funny story is I was wearing this jumper, which a lot of you know as a classic shell jumper. It says Hawaii. I bought this. Actually, I'm pretty sure I bought it on a video at, in, during lockdown in my haul, which is crazy. I bought it then in lockdown being like, I'll go to Hawaii once we're out of lockdown. Still haven't been to Hawaii, but I was walking from the rocks to Barangaroo and there was this man like standing at the entrance to like a restaurant or something and he like pointed at me and I was like, oh no, like what's happening? Is he gonna like be weird or something? And then he was like, great jumper. And I was like, oh, thank you. He's like, I'm from Hawaii. And I was like, I was literally about to take that jumper off because it was hot, but I'd left it on for a little bit longer. 
and I got that interaction with that man and I was like thank you for that and that's all he wanted to say and then he let me be and let me on with my day and I also ran into on another vlog when I was back at uni at Sydney uni when there was a teacher at the end of term that sort of invited me to drinks after I saw him when I was walking to the gym at Pitt Street but I also couldn't remember his name or anything. I just saw him. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about him. All in love. I was listening to one of the new Diary of a CEO podcasts on my way home. Um, can we talk about Diary of a CEO and Andrew Huberman making a four hour long podcast? It's going to take me a while to get through, but that's like, I like them both individually. And the fact that they've come together, I'm very excited to see what's in store in this podcast. In other news, I'm going to show you the playlist that I've been vibing with at the moment. It has been sparked from my time at the Urban Challenge camp, based around the song Unholy by Sam Smith. Basically, that song came on when we were at the silent disco on Cockatoo Island. So imagine like an abandoned warehouse in the middle of Sydney Harbour at night. Silent disco. Unholy comes on. Me, the other guys my age, the teachers my age, all just bopping, just having the best time. One of the last songs and me going like, this is the life I am meant for. So that's the energy that song brings to me firstly and then I made a bit of a playlist with a few of the other songs from the silent disco and we've been expanding on it but the song unholy has been coming up in my life so much lately like I started watching <laughs> I'm not proud of this but I did start watching the secret lives of Mormon wives the name I couldn't help not watch it what I couldn't help but watch it with a name like that and the first scene it literally it starts all the women walk out and it goes mama does something he's getting hot i don't even know if that's the lyrics but it's the opening of unholy and i was like it's a sign then i was at this zumba that i'm going to now last week and we have like the half time break for just like water and stuff halfway through the class and then Unholy starts and she's got a dance to Unholy and I was like So the song Unholy by Sam Smith I'm pretty sure is going to be my most listened to song on my Spotify rap this year and this is the vibe and the energy that I am loving in my life at the moment And the fact that I've seen this live as well as Unholy live with my handprint on her ass cheek. Oh my gosh. You got the sun. I'm back. And um, in true Michelle YouTube video fashion, we're going to have a TED talk over dinner because it's just me. So I've come home. Mm. So I got distracted. Why I love being a big kid. I'm an adult, right? So I can do adult things. I have freedoms of an adult, but also a lot of the comforts of being a kid. Exhibit A, I'll take it, thinking I was gonna have to make something for myself. I'm a big kid. You know what I did with about two months notice? I booked a trip to Disney World because I can. Who's gonna tell me I can't go to Disney World? No one. Got no kids that I have to look after and think of first. No partner that I have to think of first. I can just go to Disney World. Another exhibit. Last week I went grocery shopping and it was lunchtime and was I hungry when I went shopping? Yes. Was that a mistake? I don't know, but I'm a big kid with my own money. I can come home with donuts. Who's gonna tell me I can't have donuts for lunch? No one. Guys, being a big kid is the best thing ever. You get all the freedoms you wanted as a kid. And if you're lucky, all the perks. So that's what I've been thinking about a lot lately. Don't have a mortgage I have to worry about paying off. Oh my gosh, 
I love food so much. That's criminal. You don't put that in my salad. I think we potentially have a new contender for one of my favorite Zumba songs. I will show you after dinner though. It was like my happiness levels were Proud Mary level Zumba happiness. Crazy, crazy stuff. Didn't see it coming. The music started though and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then it just, it popped off and I'm gonna show you. Imagine, I'm there. I'm already having a great time. <laughs> because I'm at Zomba, and then this song comes on the speaker. Just gets your heart going. You can try to stop the hands of time, but you know it just can't be. <sighs> so yeah, that happened at Zumba, and I've now decided that I'm gonna make my own version, and everyone's gonna love it. And that's all I really have to say. Uh, Tracy, I'll be yours forever cause I never wanna be without love. Tracy never set me free. I haven't had a lot that I've wanted to show you or more so I don't think I've had the energy to like film or anything because I've just been work work working because obviously I'm going to America soon which is very exciting but it's also very expensive so I've just been working pretty much every day and I think it's started to like catch up with me because I feel absolutely shattered it was pretty rough at work today but luckily it was only four hours so not too bad I am going out to meet Lizzie in Chatswood this afternoon which is exciting and I think some of us are going for dinner tonight as well potentially but I've like asked if it could be local just because I feel so dead so I don't want to be like going anywhere crazy I am working so much next week it's not even funny do you want to see my new purchase actually I'm not sure if you can hear her it's my air purifier I've always wanted one and I finally just got one because I was like fresh air sounds great to me or not fresh but like less dusty air so I'm seeing if it's going to make a difference I'm quite excited to see like how much it pulls out of the air in the end I do also think I have a potential announcement of the end of a certain era as I've sort of been saying it's been like non-stop work and while that's great for saving up for America if I'm going to be here for like the Australian summer, which is my favourite time to be in Australia, it seems a pity to be like working every day and I kind of just want to take as much time as possible to enjoy it because I'm not always going to be this young, this healthy, this fit and this like free to just enjoy the summer and go to the beach and have no responsibilities. So I'm thinking after I get back from America, we are going to say goodbye to my Woolies era which is a bit sad, but I'll still be working at Virgin. I'll still be doing the odd urban challenge camps. Um, I still, I think, maybe tutoring. So <laughs> we'll keep three out of my four jobs just so that I can take some time to really enjoy the summer in Australia while I'm still young and 23. I don't know when I'll see you next. I'll be honest.